So this is Hector's advent calendar. Um, it is called the Nordic advent calendar. Um, and we got it at World Market last night. Again, light in my house, guys. Light in my house. Um, so it has little deer and little mushrooms. There it goes. Um, and then we have a bear here and a little bunny. A raccoon toadstools and a fox and then on the tree you can get certain animals sit on the tree so we have an owl and a little squirrel and on the back today we got a little birdie so yeah he's having lots of fun with that so that's really pretty um, and then in my yarn advent calendars for day 11, Sweet Sparrow Yarns was We Walk in Velvet Shoes, which is this really beautiful... I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to find a way of doing this, and it's just harder and harder lately. I'll borrow Hector's school table. Um, All right, well, we'll try this. This is, It's blowing things out a little bit. We Walk in Velvet Shoes is much more of a dusty mauve. It is definitely not that pink. This was from Lambstring Spooky Holiday Advent. It is called He Froze to Death. I don't know what the reference is, but all it makes me think of is that scene in Scrooged where he's such a jerk to the homeless guy, and then the ghost of future, uh, Christmas Future shows him that uh, instead of going to the shelter, um, he hid under the drains in the city and then froze. Um, and then this one is from my Nightmare Before Christmas swap with my friend Mariah, and she has named this one Barrel, which is um, the name of one of Oogie Boogie's henchmen. And it came with some Burt's Bees cuticle cream, which I'm really excited about. Um, so yeah, good morning Vlogmas. Hi, nice to see you. Um, it is almost lunchtime. We have been 
doing school. My son doesn't normally do school on Fridays, but we had some reading to catch up on. And my husband very kindly took that over while I got some knitting done on my commission because that needs to get worked on. Um, so yeah, I'm taking a little break from that and Vlogmases so that I can... Yeah, we did um, Advent since school's over and um, I'm making myself a cup of tea, if I'm sure you can hear it. And then I need to handle this, that's cookie mess from last night that I just didn't want to do because, we, because we're totally mature and we bake cookies at, you know, 11 and midnight because that's who we are. It's a good time. Um, speaking of cookies, they turned out really good, even if they didn't keep the little holiday print and even if they do kind of look like pillows. So, um, I highly recommend the recipe. I did tag it in the description box under yesterday's video, um, if you'd like to give that a try. Uh, again, I think all of Tegan's recipes are perfect, <laughs> but, um, to be honest, next time I might half the amount of baking soda or maybe just leave it out altogether. Um, but they are nice and fluffy, uh, sugar cookies. So maybe instead of doing that, I think what I'm looking for is more of like a dense, like a shortbread. Um, I guess is what I was expecting, not what I was looking for. But even on her website, whenever she shows you how she ices them and stuff, hers didn't inflate that much. They didn't puff up that much. So I don't know. I don't know if that's a humidity thing. Like obviously she lives in Colorado and I don't. <laughs> so my humidity is much higher than most people's. Um, and I'm not a professional baker, so I don't really know how humidity really affects things. Like, I don't know what that makes it do, except not work. That's what I know. I know it, I know it makes it not work. Um, but anyway, um, I'm just having a cup of the Harney and Sons holiday tea that I've been kind of enjoying. Um, I bought it on sale in probably... Oh, I guess with chance, guys. Sorry. Um, I bought it on sale probably... I don't know, sometime in the fall. And um, I have to admit to you, I wasn't a huge fan. It wasn't really my thing. Um, but I think it's because the clove uh, flavor is relatively strong. And that is such a flavor, it's such a Christmas flavor that I think I just wasn't ready. <laughs> Which is typical for me. Um, so anyway, I am making a cup of that. I am working on my commission. I'm watching Vlogmas. Uh, everybody's half-twos are done for the day. We were planning to go to Brazos Bend State Park and have a park day, get out of the house, do some walking, take some pictures of some gators, I'll let you, uh, there you go, let, let y'all that are not privy to alligators in your backyard, let y'all um, have some fun, have some footage. But it's like a 90% chance of rain down there. And uh, when Houston tells you it's 90%, you're going to get dumped on, so... Chose not to go. It's not supposed to rain for very long, but you never know. So, I don't know. Um, I'm going to make my tea and I'm going to go back to working, I guess. So I will talk to y'all later. Y'all, I bought these at Trader Joe's last night when we were there. And can I tell you, they are basically a York peppermint patty in marshmallow form. And they are so good. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Anyway, so that's my uh, discovery. I'm uh, trying to raid my pantry for something to cook for dinner tonight. And I got... I don't usually use pantry stuff. I'm not going to lie. We're usually fresher people but I was going through my fridge and it's pretty empty and apparently I don't have any of the meat that I thought that I had when we were at Trader Joe's last night and I was like I could pick this up but then I didn't but I did buy this mushroom and rice soup mix which I'm really excited about and I got some black olive tapenade and I plan on making a fresh loaf of bread and I'm going to have that as a thing one day I was supposed to do that today but I didn't it's only five. I guess I could make bread. I guess I could make bread, right? I don't have any yeast. I probably don't have yeast, though. Which would be weird, because I'm pretty sure that I just bought a fresh thing of yeast, and I know I've only made bread, like, once, so. 
Um, if I have yeast, it's not in the refrigerator, so that means it's not open, which means that it would be new. Where would I keep new yeast? This is the problem with buying new things and then not using them for a while. I'm sorry, you're like looking at my nose. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know where that would be. So I might not even be able to make bread. So let me, um, look around a little bit and then I guess I'll get back to you on what I decided to do. Believe it or not that for Vlogmas, people enjoy just watching you. People enjoy being a fly on your wall and just watching you. They like eavesdropping on your conversations. What's the sound card? Somebody's watching, watching me. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Those are my favorites. Whenever you just watch people talk to their family or their significant others or they're just doing their thing. And every now and then you get, every now and then maybe they'll address you personally. But for the most part, you're just kind of watching, seeing what their day looks like. That's the difference between the types of vlogs that I do and the types of vlogs that you're thinking about doing. Yeah. Yours are going to be very information packed. Yeah. <laughs> Mine are, I don't know, podcasts are much more formal. But I feel like um, vlogs, people are pretty. Everybody's pretty nonchalant. Back me up, you guys. Everybody's pretty chill. There's not a lot of judgment. You're not going to so. put this, right? Yeah, I might put some of that. No, what's up, man? What? Us talking? <laughs> the screen is picking right there. <laughs> Nobody, so don't put that. Nobody cares. All right, ready? No. Ready? Have to do that. <laughs> I'm definitely putting that. Huh? Oh, no, I'll do that. Nobody's ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Suck it in. No, for real, for real. What? Let's, do the, let's start. Ready? One, two. Start doing what? Oh, were well, you gonna? Start it's my you? vlog. Leave me alone. <laughs> what your time it's all of a face sudden? On it. <laughs> One, but close your eyes. So you can't see it. Oh. <laughs> if you can't see them, they can't see you. <laughs> Works for kids. So I'm finna do. You're so nervous. What's up? <laughs> I guess I'm camera shy. You are camera shy. That's, That's little... something you didn't know. It's a little weird. The first. And you want me to YouTube this? It's a little weird the first couple times. Channel. Yeah, I do. I want you to have your own channel. Hey guys, this is my husband and he mountain bikes and all of that fun stuff. And so I'm trying to convince him to start a YouTube channel so he can talk to other people about mountain biking and trucks and building. Guy stuff. Story. Guy st right, guy Man stuff. stuff. <laughs> Manly stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, I need some, uh, I need some, some YouTube love so that I can get him to actually do it. Cause I think we're a little bit camera shy, uh, because we're not used Definitely. to it. So, you know, we're gonna, we have to do that. That's the goal. Um, I also need, uh, TV and series recommendations from anybody who has been watching anything great because, um, we are about to finish the Queen's Gambit. It's very short and then you will be out of things to watch. Nice. So, we've done Peaky Blinders. Favorite. Yeah, yeah, you really like Queen of the South. Queen of the South, yeah. That's supposed to be a white, not a purple. Um, what else have you done? American Horror Story. American Horror Stories. You finished all of those? Yeah. How did you, how did you do that without nightmares? That was the weirdest fucking show. I just fell asleep. <laughs> Gross. And then that's it. No. Oh, that that uh. That weird one, the you. Oh, you? Mm. Yeah. This is weird. <laughs> I can skip on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Stalkers aren't your thing, then? No. Come on. <laughs> I wash my back now. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Anybody can be a predator. Better watch out. <laughs> That's it. Waiting on Outlander. Yeah. I read all eight books of Outlander and it kind of lost me after about book three. Um, I don't know. I'm It's going to sound really, uh, terrible, but I am American and I grew up in America and, uh, stories about the revolutionary times of America are ingrained in all of us. Uh, lots, lots of the information that we all know is, you know, lies, straight out lies. 
But um, it's not my favorite part of history to watch or to see dramas done in, I guess. Um, anyway, so I kind of kind of out on Outlander right now. And I don't really like Brianna's character too much. Brianna, Roger. Who, which one is it that I don't like? Brianna. One of them. Maybe it's the both of them. Their dynamic I'm not the hugest fan of. Um, I like both of the actors, like as, act, you know, actors and actresses, but I just don't care for the dynamic that the characters have. I didn't like them in the book either. That's just me. Um, so yeah, we're kind of looking for new things. Well, he's looking for mm. new things. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to watch it, but it'll give him new things to watch while he sits next to me while I watch Vlogmas. <laughs> so I missed out on watching Vlogmas yesterday because we got busy and I came in this morning to sit down and do some knitting on my commission, which I'm working on right now while I'm talking to you. Um, okay, I'm not working on it right now because I keep messing up, so I'm just going to put it down. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I think I started Vlogmas this morning at 10 o'clock and I don't think I finished until almost 5 p.m. Um, and I took breaks and had lunch and, you know, all of that fun stuff, but it was still, it was a lot. Um, but on that note, if any of you have any Vlogmases that you really like, please share them because I'm always on the lookout for more. We need more Vlogmases. And then once this commission is done... Or once I'm past this color work, at least, I will be on straight stockinette, and I will need lots of inspiration for that. Um, commission's coming out okay. Yarn is super pretty. Um, pattern's amazing. Um, I'm doing a uh, sample for Jamie Hoffman for a um, design that's not out yet, and she's been teasing it, and it's really great, and I am just not enjoying it, you guys. Um, the sections between the colors there's there's a lot of um space between the motifs so i'm carrying yarn like 12 and 16 stitches at a time for pretty much the entirety of the sweater and it you just get tired of counting 16 you know and uh there's a third color involved and so like my chart will be i think right now it's like 26 stitches across or something well the the first stitch will be yellow and then I won't use that again until the first stitch on the next chart. So I carry it across 25 stitches. And you just do that all the way around. And it, I don't know, it makes you feel like maybe you should have just duplicate stitched it. But I'm pretty sure it would have taken me just as long. So I'm just going with it. It's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to finish that. I'm trying to power through. Um... I'm almost done, so it's fine. And then once I uh, separate for sleeves, which I'm super excited about, um, I will definitely share it with you. Um, I have to double check with Jamie and make sure that that's okay before I just blast that out on the internet. Um, just said I dragged you out again today. You did, yeah. Dragged me out again. Again. For who? The same brother. Yep. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, my brother-in-law um, has been having truck problems and he dropped it off at a shop to get it fixed. And um, so he's been, he uh, had a load to run in the meantime. And so his boss gave up a truck and said, hey, could you take this? And he said, yeah, but whenever I get back, I got to go pick up my truck. And his boss is like, okay, cool, man, don't worry about it. I'll take you to go get your truck and we'll swap. Because I have my truck up at the same shop getting some exhaust work done. Like, all right, cool, we'll go together. So he calls us, you know, hey, can I, you know, hang out and chat with you guys for like an hour until I go, you know, meet my boss? And we're like, yeah, you know, the guys are on the garage, they're they're talking, whatever. And then he walks in and he's like, so do you want to drive an hour to the other side of Houston? No. Why would you? <laughs> I'll buy you coffee. Yeah, basically. So I got bribed. Um, but yeah, basically his boss bailed on him and was basically like, well, I guess if I make it, I'll make it. If I don't, then I, I don't know what to tell you. And that would be fine, except that the, the repair shop is closed on the weekends. Where do we live? Like, who's closed on the weekends here? Anyway, uh, they're closed on the weekends, so then he wouldn't have been able to pick up his truck up till Monday, and his boss was just like, whatever, I don't care if you have a car. Which is kind of crappy. So, we drove him across Houston. <laughs> At five o'clock on a Friday. There was totally no traffic, right? Mm -hmm. Um so anyway, he got his truck. We all came home. 
And then we Lysol to everybody and everything really well, just to be sure, just to be safe. You know, everybody's been trying to be really safe and stuff, but, you know. And, um, yeah, that is the extent of our excitement today, yeah? And here we be. And here we be. I've spent most of my day in the craft room on this couch, and as cute as my couch is, it's not as comfortable as it probably could be, considering how much time I spend in it. I'm also on, I think, like, my 15th cup of tea today. So, you know, we're having a tea date. Yeah, yes. <laughs> what are gone. you drinking? Oh, yours is gone. gone. So, yeah, you're drinking um, the Lullaway from Harney and Sons, which is like a spearmint, lemongrass, chamomile mix or whatever. It's really good. And then I just have a um, plain peppermint tea from Bigelow uh, that came in one of my advent calendars. I'm actually not a huge Bigelow fan. I don't know what it is about their flavor profile, but I'm just not a big fan of it usually. Um, but the peppermint tea is fine. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got. What do you got? Watching my show. Watching my show. Awesome. Yeah. So that's like 1040 or something it's late you guys we played a board game with Hector and then we sent him to bed at 10 something because I'm a great parent let him stay up all night long whatever <laughs> um we were planning to go down to the park tomorrow so that you could see the gators and stuff but we've had some really weird weather I don't know what it's doing tomorrow or if we're what is this anyway or if we're gonna get a chance to go or who knows anymore there's a pandemic so anything can happen but if we go obviously we'll keep you posted you're gonna take like really pretty awesome professional shots of gators babe definitely yeah that's the other thing his youtube channel will talk about will be photography so mm -hmm. make it happen y'all um anyway we will talk to you guys tomorrow bye you say signing off